Russell Westbrook is one of the most overrated players. Solid individual talent. The stat chaser, though. He's a stat chaser, not good, good for team chemistry. It's like players like him. Same thing I said about Dez. Players like Westbrook, players like Dez, players like Odell Beckham. Yes, they have talent. Yes, they're extremely talented. But when the mentality is off, it doesn't matter because you're ruining team chemistry. And if you don't have team chemistry, you won't be able to produce what you want. And ultimately, that's the championship. And we're seeing that Durant is looking like a genius right now. You can't win with Westbrook. And Melo, too. I mean, they just have three of the worst players. I mean, Paul George to a lesser extent. But Melo ruins teams. He got D'Antoni fired. We've seen D'Antoni leave and still have success. Uh, he ruined the Jeremy Lin run. I mean, just just wants to run that ISO, slow down. I mean, this is the new NBA where you can't slow down. Everything moves, so it's totally not fit for him. And I can just tell he doesn't take care of his body. Uh, probably doesn't have a proper diet. Seems like one of those guys who gets high on the court before games. Um, I just don't think he really taking those steps to take his career to the next level. Uh, Westbrook just wants to, you know, get the stats to look good, but he doesn't really have a high on-court IQ. It's the same thing, ISO ball, same thing how, how I feel about John Wall. I mean, these guys, I mean, yes, Westbrook has the mid-range, but you're not a threat really off the ball, you know, because you can't really shoot the three. So if you cut off that mid-range shot from Westbrook, how much is it, of a threat is he to you? You know, and he'll just keep trying and trying and trying and trying to do stuff that doesn't work. You know, these guys don't want to buy into a, um, you know, a real system, and that's how Utah is beating them because they're playing as a team. The, the only reason LeBron can get away with it is because he's smarter than a lot of these guys. So the majority of these guys in the league is just thriving on athleticism strictly. But as far as understanding really how to play the game, they would be the quarterback who could, who could only throw the ball to you when you're wide open, but they can't throw you open. They don't really understand how to play. Westbrook definitely falls in that category along with his attitude. You know, that super aggressiveness intimidates a lot of teammates, and players like him don't understand that, and that messes up team chemistry because they know that you're all about you. The organization is all about you, so they're just going to conform to whatever you're doing. Now, I've seen a lot of people want to point to the bench, but it, it's not just the bench. It's how they can be because it's not even like the starters are competing with this young Utah team. This is a team who no one expected to make the playoffs who a rookie is leading and they're going out there because they understand how to play the game. They have some smart, high IQ players on the court and they have a better understanding. And I give that somewhat to the coach and I also give it to their foreign background because they have a better understanding of how to play the game over there because they're not relying on athleticism. Um, not surprised. I expect the Thunder to go home. If, if I'm Oklahoma, I try to get rid of Melo's contract. I don't want Melo on my team. Especially not for 25 million or 20 million. I would want him on a veterans minimum. If I'm the Lakers, I don't want Paul George. He just doesn't have it. You know, he's not worth the money. And if I'm the Thunder, I really don't want Westbrook, but he'll bring tickets in, so you got to keep him. But I just don't see Westbrook um, being a part of a winning situation because he's so hard to play with and so ball dominant. And in this league, you need to have players who can move the ball and really understand how to play the game want to be successful. Shout out to Donovan Mitchell. I mean, he looks very impressive. Kobe Jordan S. Um, I mean, just blow, blowing off the charts. Uh, Ingles, these guys aren't scared. Uh, Gobert, uh, X, the solid bench. I mean, they just have guys who have been there, they've been waiting, and now their time have come. You know, the favorite's been there for a while. Burke been there for a while, and he didn't hear the complaints. He didn't hear them crying. They just stuck it out. And, and stayed down till they came up, and now we're seeing the, the fruits of that labor. So shout out to Utah's organization. John Stockton's son got into the game, so they're honorable and honoring the vet. Much respect and wish we got the best. I wouldn't be surprised if they gave you the problems. If, if they keep playing like this and keep playing smart basketball, there's nothing better than to play smart basketball and just get down to Mitchell without a dollar's rookie of the year.